former FEMA spokesperson Dan Watson and retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore. So, General Honore, what do you see as the next big challenge for Florida in terms of uh, the power grid and water, fresh water supplies, especially hospitals, right? Yeah, absolutely. Is to uh, make some decisions on how they're going to relocate uh, many of the people in the area where the grid is destroyed. Because uh, we're not talking days, we're talking weeks there, Andrea. And uh, that is going to be a challenge. Uh, all over America, we got challenges for housing. And uh, there's so many homes that are going to be not worthy to stay in because of the water and the sludge and the flood water got in them. This is going to be a big challenge on how they're going to do some relocation and have a speedier process to resolve uh, recovery. Uh, right now that we're in a mess in Louisiana, we had 10 insurance companies uh, go uh, broke trying to handle Hurricane Ida last year, which was a category four. I can't imagine what it's gonna do to the insurance uh, resolve in Florida and the poor people who have insurance, but the insurance company won't be able to cover them or they'll drag them out because they don't have the funds to cover them. This is gonna be a nightmare. This recovery is gonna be one of the worst in American history as far as resolving. Well, a couple of things come to mind that the federal government may have to come in with some, some kind of credit guarantees for those insurance companies. But what about the, the mobile homes that you all used after Katrina that were moved in for temporary housing? Yeah, Is that we, an option? We still use them. You know, Andrea, the last year after Hurricane Ida, we still have, have 5,000 people in Louisiana in mobile homes or recreational trailers. They're, they're very handy, but they're very expensive to use a mobile home the way we use them now, it costs almost $200,000 to put a mobile home in. And many times the cost of a temporary mobile home to loan somebody until the home gets fixed exceed the cost of the house that they're fixing. We've got some real issues with recovery that this storm will help us get to resolve. And the Congress are going to have to get involved. And many of the rules that ties up recovery was created by Congress over time. We'll have to have some adult decisions here because we've got homes in Puerto Rico after Maria that still haven't been recovered. And some in Harvey, that's five years ago, uh, let alone last year and two years ago in Laura, uh, homes and uh, public housing that's not recovered because of the slow bureaucratic process of replacing public housing. Everybody mean well, but it's just too darn slow. And we've got to figure out another way to do it now that we have a major disaster like this that goes across this street of 25 million people, but oh, maybe half of them involved in this recovery. We're going to have to figure another way to do this, Ms. Andrea. Well, that, and right now, uh, General Honore and Dan Watson, we were looking at live pictures from our chopper of one of the bridges just wiped out to one of the barrier islands. I think that's Lee County. So, Dan, that's... That just shows you how isolated those people are. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that'll be the, uh, again, the, the focus of this briefing. And I think another uh, important factor of that major disaster declaration is a lot of people think, uh, I, you know, I, I need to get back to my home, see what condition it's in, and then I'll call FEMA. No, if you're displaced by this storm, you can uh, register for assistance right now at disasterassistance.gov or by calling 1-800-61-FEMA. Um, and, you know, if you're staying in a hotel and have expenses, uh, you, you know, you might be able to get financial assistance to help with that. Because the last thing we want is people going back into these areas um, too soon while it's still dangerous. We're going to put those numbers up, but what are those numbers again? Yeah, sure. It's disasterassistance.gov and the number is one 800 1-800-621-FEMA. 1-800-621-FEMA.